November 25th, 2533. Dr. Vanessa P. Yates, Director, Department of Diplomatic Affairs, Galactic Exploration Organization, Cairo. Dr. Yates, it is with a great deal of sadness and much regret that I write to you this morning. The events of the past 48 hours have been unprecedented for the GEO, and I take full responsibility for my hand in the tragedy before us. I cannot imagine the sorrow that has been laid at the pause of the Emionite citizens. They have a long and storied history of interconnectivity between their kind and that of other extraplanetary species. Ebionites have made a name for themselves across the galaxies, and their reputation for resourcefulness, ingenuity, and a dedicated work ethic precedes them tenfold. It can therefore be assumed that a loss of one of their own at the hands of a newly met species would be the source of much anger, grief, and indignation. I counted among the highest blessings that the Ebionite people do not hold this incident against us. Perhaps it is due to their years of experience in extraplanetary diplomacy that they take both the triumphs and the tragedies of first contact in stride. According to the historical records exchanged two days ago, Ebion itself is the point of origin for multiple sapient species that humankind will come into contact with throughout the Nanikia supercluster. It is therefore important that we cultivate and maintain healthy relations between our species. If Earth desires a foothold in the Cerulean star cluster and further out across the fringes of our section of the universe, we must ensure that we can even physically encounter the Ebionites without harm in the first place. It is for this reason that I am tendering my resignation from my position as GEO Ambassador. I cannot in good conscience continue serving in a leadership capacity after my indiscretion and rash behaviour that resulted in the death of a potential friend. While a myriad of eventualities can be prepared for when making first contact with a new species, I do not believe that anyone here on Earth could have possibly predicted Monday's events. I regret my actions with my whole heart and soul, though I know that all the world's regret could not bring Ambassador Bid Haley back from the ancestors. Upon leaving my post today, I plan to take a position with Dr. Ian Zeon of Stellarix Pharmaceuticals and aid in the research and development of a means of immunization for the Ebionite species. I hold myself personally responsible for the predicament that the GEO finds itself in, and I fully intend to atone for my mistake by helping to find a way for our two species to coexist in a healthy and peaceful manner. I thank the department for the opportunities it has given me and the many lessons that I have learned throughout my time with the GEO. I am incredibly lucky to have been able to see other worlds, meet other species, and create lasting bonds of friendship for humankind. All the best, Aya Hassan.